Hello from the Philippines. So today I want to talk about the weather, or to be more precise, the heat in the Philippines, the climate, and how it might affect you. So I live in Mindanao, and it does vary depending on where you live, but not a lot. If you live in the cities, it's going to be more humid than even here. And boy, is it humid here. And that's one of the worst aspects, I think, about living in the Philippines. After all, it is a tropical country and you get plenty of humidity. So to illustrate this, it could be 32 degrees centigrade. That's fairly hot. Gee, when we have a heat wave in the UK, we can even be 33, sometimes 34 centigrade. But that's not quite the full story. So along with your 32 or 33 degrees, you have to take into account the humidity index. And then that can push the temperature up to the early 40s centigrade, that is. And it's pretty sticky by the time you get there. Another example, I obviously shower every morning. Well, maybe I don't, but I do. And then I might mop the floor here, or even sweep the floor. Let's forget mopping the floor, I do that later. And already, this is with two electric fans on. I'm sweating, my t-shirt will be clinging to me because of the humidity. So humidity really is a problem here. In the UK, sure, we have humidity only during summer and only then during a heat wave. So we might get three days of it. And then we might get another two days further on in the summer and that's it, it's done. But here, it's pretty much 95% of the time. Now, when it's the rainy season or there's a low depression, maybe there's a typhoon approaching. In Mindanao, we only get the tail end of typhoons, not the full impact. Then the weather becomes a little more breezy, nowhere near as humid. And it's almost like the UK in summertime on a cool summer's day. Now, is there much breeziness in the air here? Again, I can only talk for where I live, but I've seen the difference where I actually live here, where the house is, to even where some of our friends live. It might only be 20 minutes away. They seem to have more breeze than we do. You do get a breeze from time to time, but it's not the kind of breeze, sorry, that was a fly on my hand. It's not the kind of breezes that you would get in the UK. It's not got that coolness attached. Now, night times. So let's, before I go on to night times, so the day times, I can handle it if we go out to town. I can easily handle the, that kind of heat, humidity. Hold on one second, I need the fly spray. Uh. Yeah, so I can easily handle it. Well, not easily. It's quite de debilitating, you get tired, physically tired quite quick. As I said, even sweeping up can drain the energy from you. But it's not as bad as that. Also bear in mind the electric fans get dirty quite quickly from the dust in the air and the grime. So they have to be continually cleaned to get the maximum effect from the electric <laughs> fan. Night time is the time you have to be aware of. If anything, sometimes it can be even more humid at night in the evening and at night. 
But having said that, I have noticed maybe about one, two o'clock in the morning, it cools down a little bit, but let's not go there. So I can already feel the sweat falling down my forehead. I think, and not everyone is going to need it, but I think the majority of foreigners that come here will need an air con, maybe more than one in various rooms. But I would say it's essential to have an air con. Listen, some people can deal with electric fans. I cannot. You must have an air con at night time or you are going to find it pretty hard to sleep. When we go to sleep now, because it's summertime here, we not only have the air con on full blast, we have an electric fan as well on, just to add. And it does the job well. I've twice had to go to sleep when there's been a brownout, so therefore no air con, therefore no electric fan. It was hell. It was hell. Yes, I did eventually fall asleep, but boy, was it uncomfortable getting there. So they're the, the main factors about the weather. Again, it's mainly the humidity. Sure, even without the humidity, it's warm, very warm, especially in summer. And especially during this summer, where there's been a drought, there hasn't been any rain to speak of. It's got enormously hot, breaking all heat records. So bear that in mind if you're thinking of coming to live in the Philippines. One of my subscribers said the weather here is similar to Houston, Texas. And don't forget, the Philippines is quite close to the equator, which is why the sun is so strong. When you're here in the Philippines, I don't need to tell you, you've got to drink plenty of fluids, be it water. Water's probably the best, but even Coca-Cola or Sprite or Mountain Dew or whatever you're going to do, just keep topping up on the fluids because you will dehydrate pretty fast. And I would say it wouldn't hurt if you wear a little baseball cap or something. I don't. And that's pretty much the weather except in the rainy season. Now, when the rainy season happens, it can still be humid. Don't think for one minute you get away from that humidity, but not as extreme, still extreme enough to make you sweat and feel uncomfortable. But there are more instances of, during the day at least, of a heavier breeze, a slightly more cooling breeze. And when it pours with rain, during a torrential rainstorm, you can feel the benefits. But I noticed something here. In the UK, for example, if it's humid and it thunders and it rains, it clears the air and the humidity goes. Here, it goes all right, but sometimes for an hour and then it comes back again. So that's just something to be mindful of. It won't stop you doing the activities you need to do. And that includes sex. So long as you've got an aircon, Ian, in your bedroom. Ian. And that's that. I cannot think of anything else. Oh, of course. I wouldn't be doing my job in the video if I neglected to say this. If you've got, especially if you've got fair skin, buy a sun blocker and put it on. Because the sun here, as I mentioned, can be very strong. It can be very, very fierce. And it will burn you if you're out for any length of time unprotected. So that's my five cents worth. I hope I've given you an idea of what's to come if you're going to visit the Philippines. There are places in this world that are hotter. 
Some countries that are hotter, for example, Kuwait, would be a dry heat. Here is a tempered, tempered heat. That's why you get the humidity. That's why you get a lot of thunderstorms. So if you're thinking of coming to the Philippines or you are coming to the Philippines, enjoy yourself and don't forget to pack with you a sunblocker. That's all.